I suppose my main anxiety about the, the best intentions of these reforms is that they might end up being completely emasculated uh, by the process of intermediation, which is now arriving I the middle bit, which interprets the policy into something which is pragmatic. But the, the search for pragmatism becomes so strong that it closes down that opportunity for significant transformation innovation. If that happens, then you need to look to your deviant uh, innovators as opposed to opportunities for mainstream. You might have to do that anyway. But so I suppose that's my anxiety. Uh, in terms of what about the next set of reforms, I think being a bit more optimistic, the relationship between the policy intention and the process of intermediation is such that it will take a long time for these reforms to, to develop. And I, I think it will be a very long time before we get the next set. Very long being? Or at least two parliamentary cycles. Okay. Thank you for that, Paul. Um, I think um, if, if we're optimistic, um, uh, the outcome is this will not succeed everywhere. If we're pessimistic, then it will not fail everywhere. Um, uh, so that there will be places where it will work and places where it won't work. Um, uh, and I think that leads us to the next stage of reforms, which is we need some competition amongst commissioners to replace those places where it's not working. Thank you. Very interesting. Another topic uh, that could, we could uh, open up uh, on, on another day. Chand, you're also looking very intent there. It's causing them to think about this one. Well, I mean, th these reforms by intent and design are going to require um, um, huge organisational restructuring, uh, greater than we've ever seen before. That's going to take two years anyway. So, so in fact, um, you're not going to be in a position to really look at these changes until 2013 onwards, uh, in, in my view. Uh, and beyond that, I, I, would, I would estimate you'd need at least three years uh, beyond that to, to, to really gauge whether this is going to achieve change. At, at a local level, there's huge, huge disparity. Many areas have, have yet to even have the discussions around consortium development, for example. So I would say at least five years from now. Thank you for that, child. Penny. Uh, well, first off, yeah, we're on a journey. These reforms build on previous reforms, people said. So it's evolution, it's not revolution. It's going to continue to evolve. So if the question is, when will it change again? It'll probably change again tomorrow. It'll change again next week. So it's continually changing and evolving. Where will we get to? I think we will get to a mixed economy where in some places we see something that does feel very radically different with GPs doing things largely by themselves. In other places, it will actually look and feel and actually it will be what was the PCT that will be doing it. I think the really big question we haven't talked about is this, what, what's the accountability regime for commissioners and what happens when they don't work, as, mm. as Paul picked up. And actually, mm. we had our own little discussion on that, the round table bit. So yeah. you might want to come back to that at some point. When we hit the crunch, basically. Yeah. yeah. Thank you for that. Johnny. Hey, look, the short answer, 10 years seems to be a, about the right sort of length of time. It would probably take that time to undo any primary legislation, I understand. Um, but, but I think there's a, there's, a, there's a bigger picture to this, and that's when fund holding was first uh, initiated. Um, nobody really envisaged it would end up with total purchasing pilots. Uh, and I think there's a sense in which this could be a self-fulfilling prophecy. We could be going around the loop in, in 10 years' time, and political reform dictates we probably will, but there is a real opportunity to look at what added value we might bring and how we might produce something we haven't even thought of yet. Uh, and we've talked about integrated care and managed care and how we, how, we, how we bring that together to deliver real improvement for patients whilst offering choice and competition. And I think there's something in that, which if we can genuinely, collectively construct, I think we could genuinely come up with something that lasts more than 10 years. 